uh, January, correct? This is true. You want to remind our listeners what Best Doctors does? Absolutely. Uh, Best Doctors is an employee benefit. And what we do is, is help people make sure that they're getting the right diagnosis and treatment when they're sick. Uh, people get access to us as uh, a free benefit of their job or outside of the United States as part of an insurance policy they have, oftentimes as a benefit of their job. Um, but we cover about 30 million people around the world in over 40 countries, and our headquarters are here in Boston, so we're, we're right up the street. So, uh, can, can, do you yeah, have I, yeah, I was going to ask, so, in other words, I'm a corporation, and I, you know, I, I supply my employees with health insurance. I then would come to you for another little kind of adjunct to the health insurance and buy your service so that we're looking at, we're, we're looking at uh, what the diagnoses are and make sure that the, uh, our employees are getting the correct diagnosis. Right. Yes, that, that's right. And, and, you know, our statistics last year, 2011, here in the United States were that 29% of the people that we helped had an incorrect diagnosis, 29%, and 60% had an incorrect treatment plan. So, so, how, so how does that work, though? You know, I go to the doctor. more specific? Yeah, yeah is absolutely. It, is it from, like, anywhere from warts to... Uh, <laughs> For like heart surgery, yeah, it, it, it covers extreme? the it, yeah, it covers the the breadth of medical conditions. The the top reason people call us or the top illness people call us for is cancer. Um, so it tends to be for things that are more serious. People do call us for more basic kinds of conditions. Um, but at the end of the day, what what the problem is, and this is an issue in a healthcare system in the United States and around the world, is that doctors do not have enough time with their patients. Um, they've got on average in the U.S., less than 15 minutes with their, with their patients. And they've got to see 30 or 40 patients a day. So you're... you're to make money. It, it's, it's one of the drivers, it's yeah. It's a business driver. And it's a business driver. But I'm telling you, it happens in, in where you're from, countries like Canada as well, right. where there's a similar pressure to... Um, there's just not enough resources. So if you're a doctor and you've now got to be with a patient for 10 or 15 minutes and you're going to see 30 other people that day, and the information about them is, is fragmented in, in paper files and in IT systems that don't talk to each other. And you're in a world in which there's constantly new changes and new ways of treating people and diagnosing them. It's really hard to make those decisions. 